I love Even this. this. How many times can I say this? We got a house! We move in like a month! Good <laughs> morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. You look crazy and also I've just consumed an entire venti iced coffee from Starbucks. Mainly because it's only slightly more pricey than the grande. And I was like, well, if I'm already getting the grande and my Nespresso machine is broken, this is my main coffee source for the day. I don't know what's going on with the Nespresso machine. If you guys have tips, tricks, or DIYs, please leave it in the comments because I've had her for like a good two years. I've done everything in the book. I ordered those Nespresso cleaning machine pod, blah, 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 limestone build. Up. It's not limestone. <laughs> it's something, okay? <laughs> I think limestone is actually really expensive. This is gonna be the last episode of house hunting, if you guys can see by the title of this video. And I just wanted to start this video off by saying I can't believe that everybody is going marbles, nuts, bananas. Would you ever guess that people would go that bananas over the Harry Potter house? I just didn't know that it was gonna translate well on camera. I honestly thought that people are gonna be like, it's just not practical. It seems like the only overall consensus of the most popular houses that everybody is obsessed with is house number 2, 12, and 15. Number 2 was the transitional modern barn style but still a modern home in the very first house hunting episode. And then you have number 12 which was the 1920s super Spanish style house. And then house number 15 which was the Harry Potter house. And also comparing them to the last two houses on our house hunting journey because these two houses really made us question, wait, well specifically for me it was the last house, not so much the next house you're gonna see but I do have a feeling that a lot of you guys might like that house oh. yeah we call it the wood house but it's not even just like oh like woody you know it's like wood but before we get started I just want to give a quick shout out for today's sponsors of the day thank you so much simple health for working with us again because you guys know that I have been working with simple health for such a long time and I've actually been using them for even longer and I absolutely love what they're doing for women all across the nation. So if you guys don't know about Simple Health, essentially they're an online birth control service, which means from the beginning to the very end of your birth control journey, you can do it all online and you can do it through Simple Health. And this is awesome, especially like, you know, with the move and stuff. Me trying to insert a smooth transition. <laughs> it's awesome because you really never have to leave your house for birth control. So all you have to do is fill out a health profile on Simple Health and they have licensed physicians, doctors, OBGYNs who will look at your health profile, understand your lifestyle and prescribe the best birth control for you and I know what you're thinking wait isn't there just like one birth control no there's like a hundred different brands they have the patch they have the ring I mean there's so many different ways that you can get birth control and it affects everyone differently and so it's really important that you get matched with the one that's suitable for your body and your needs and that is something that I love simple health for because you just don't have to keep driving back to the doctor and the pharmacy when one birth control ends up not fitting with your body and you want to try something else that it's just takes away so much of that time and not only that that once they prescribe it to you, they'll ship it to you with free shipping. It comes every single month. You never have to be like, oh my god, I'm going on this big trip. Let me stop by the pharmacy first. Add that to your list of a bajillion errands. And also, it's super confidential. You live with your mom. You live with roommates. You just don't want people all up in your business. It's super confidential. It doesn't say, hey, look, she's on birth control on the packaging. I also love the fact that you don't have to go to a doctor and like sit there and verbally tell them. Look them in the face and say, yes, this is my lifestyle. So if you guys are already on birth Birth control they can actually renew your prescription and start shipping you your birth control every month and it's very very affordable so if you guys have health insurance simple health accepts most health insurances making birth control completely free for you and if you guys don't have health insurance no need to worry because it starts at $15 a month which is incredibly affordable for something like birth control and if you guys use my link or if you guys use my code biz at checkout you guys actually get a free consultation make sure to check out simple health and tell them I sent you and let's get into the house and Oh, this tree is cute too. Yeah, this street is cute, but a little bit more packed. Okay, so I feel like I like to categorize two different streets in LA. You have one street where both sides of the lanes, this way and that way, can drive at the same time. And then you have streets like this, which is very tight, and so one person has to kind of pull over on the side every time you pass another car. So this is kind of one of those streets where you have to pull over on the side, but this one is... <laughs> it's a four bed, four bath. At 2,800 square feet. Wow, a lot of people checking it out. Now I'm feeling competitive. Why do people like it so much? Huh? 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 What's going on over there? So tight. It's like the. Ooh. 
honey. What? <laughs> it's like The Bachelor. Like when you go to an yeah. open house with so many people there, you're like, why? What's so, I need to know. And when you go to an empty open house, you're like, oh, I guess nobody really loved it. Well, wow, these houses are really dope here. Yeah, dope, he said. Suddenly he's a 16 year old skater boy. Oh, maybe up there. It's a new build, which is rare to find in this area. So like new all build. the other houses, they were all, you yeah, know, yeah. remodeled, 1920s infrastructure, but redone. This, this is, is a new, new build. I would probably oh. redo the kitchen. Just okay. putting that out there. It looks very traditional and it does have a pool though. It's new build, but you want to redo the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is a very cute, like this Atlanta like style. Very yeah, very this traditional. Oh, this one's nice. So this is like an office little den area that's facing the front. The closet space is nice. It's just not. It's getting spoiled by all these other houses because <laughs> they have like all the built-ins and like the cabinets and like all the wood. So this one feels a little bit like I might want to DIY something. Oh, that's a nice bathroom. It's tall. The ceilings are really, really tall. I wonder if it's a one-story. I thought it was a two-story from the outside, but maybe it's just a really tall one-story. I'm not sure. No, I am. Oh. No, it doesn't do that. We look dumb doing that. Okay, these are just the open ups. <laughs> wow, this kitchen is massive. Oh, I do love this. Oh my god, I think this is the very fancy oven. I feel like we don't really see a lot of two story houses so far. We've only seen one story, and this massive window brings in so much light. Wow. This little space, I could really turn it into something. Why do I love this space more than I actually love the downstairs living area? It just feels a lot brighter and a lot cozier. Don't you love this landing? Oh my god, I love it. It's so bright. I mean, it, everything feels tall for a two-story. And this is the laundry room, and it's massive. Nice cabinetry. I love the floors. I'm pretty sure this would be the master then. The bedroom I don't love. I don't love the carpet. The bathroom is pretty nice. So this one has really high ceilings. Okay, so I think that all the other bathrooms that we've seen, um, they do have like the wooden beams, but I don't love the wooden panels and all white. Like I kind of like when the beams are a different color. But this one is... See the backyard? That's the pool and the grass area. It feels private. It feels like the dogs will have fun. The pool seems massive. I guess it's not done yet. This is what the master looks like. The bathroom. Very bright. So you walk in. Whoa! There's a very beautiful, bright bathtub with a lot of light. I love the tiles. I don't know what this tile is called, guys. Is it herringbone or something? And it's a massive shower. This is a massive walk-in shower. Double vanities. The cabinets on this one look very, a little bit more traditional. They don't have like the characteristics of a Spanish style home. <laughs> I'm getting so annoyed. Actually, I love the guest bedrooms in the, the bathroom. The guest bedrooms? In the bathroom. I, are they carpeted? I don't love carpet. Whoa. Whoa, these mirrors are so cute. That looks like I'm in the airplane. Yeah, because the shower head is right in front of that window. Two guest rooms right across from each other, which is nice. So we could like section off and quarantine all the guests. Wow, this feels so cozy and bright. The next guest, ooh, the, I guess this one has an ensuite. An ensuite. These two houses that makes you fancy. It's a bathroom, bit. <laughs> I love all of the shower heads. It looks so sleek and modern and the mirrors that they're using. This one's nice. It's very cozy. Mirrored closets. Really bright. Really, really freaking bright. Yeah, this area is very zen and calm. Wow. Oh my gosh, honey, did you see this? Look at this. That's so cool. I love the wood paneling on this ceiling though for the dining room. It just works well with the slides. Let's talk about house number 2,500,000 million. So this house, I this loved is it. like the most traditional, yeah. the most American house of America. Yeah, like this is like literally America. America. I don't really know how to describe it other than the fact that I loved it, but I didn't love it. Like I loved it in the fact that it's what's like not to you love. Can't, yeah, you can't yeah. complain about it. You can't. It has everything. It has good space. It has, you know, the, right. I will say one of the best things though is they really utilized the square footage. It did not feel it small. Huge. It felt massive. It felt bigger yeah. than some of like the 4,000 square foot places that we saw. So it was very nice in that aspect. You can't really yeah. complain. I mean, I guess you could complain about like the carpeting and stuff, which really isn't a yeah. complaint. It's it did a really feel 
massively traditional though. Yeah. It's just nothing hit me though. Like all the other houses, I would even say the first round of houses, there's like that one place or that one thing in that house that I'm like, I remember that house. What? There's nothing hit you. I'm like... <laughs> I've ever heard. Out of all the houses, even the ones that I didn't love, there's like that one thing that I remember that I really liked, right? Yeah. But this house, it's like, I don't really remember yeah, anything. It's kind of hard to remember. Yeah, I don't house. really remember anything. Yeah. Oh, Did I... we go to the house? <laughs> Do we stop Did by we house? Go? Okay, quickly, this is the last house of the day, and we just made it in time for the open house. Oh. They're closing in five minutes. Oh it's a two story, beautiful home. Oh but let gosh. me tell you something when I say there's a lot of wood, a bit means oh it. There's gosh. a I don't lot even of like this, wood. But this is This pool might be the biggest pool in our house hunting journey and it also has two waterfalls. My concern is that they're doing some new builds right behind, so construction noise, and also when they move in, it won't be as private, but I'm hoping these trees, they're in all the houses we've seen pretty much, they grow really tall. Oh my god, look how cute this little bathroom is so cute too. This sink, look at this sink. And these, I love when it's like the entire... Oh, these lights are so these cute lights. too. I love when like the walls are completely... Oh, I love this. Yeah. The sink is so cool. And then this is the first floor bathroom. Guess what? Guess or office. Guess what? Okay. Guess what? 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 What? Wow! Oh my gosh! Comfy office space. Wow, this is very nice. I love the blue doors. First bedroom. We could do a pull-out bed. <laughs> a pull-out bed. Oh my god! Yeah, this is. Oh, wow! Love the bathroom. Love it. Love the tiling. That inside tiling. Oh my god! Love this bathroom. That light. Love this. Wow. I love this bathroom. It what feels so heck? zen. I love this bathroom. I love <laughs> this. this. How many times can I say this? <laughs> You're too much. So the master, I guess, is the double doors. Oh my god, it's so bright in here. There's a fireplace. Where? Oh shit. It's so bright. Yeah. You see the reflection from the pool? Yeah. It's Flickering on the roof. This house is so much better than we thought. Oh my gosh, this closet is so well done. With these doors, I love that, that you can just set. This is a door. This giant mirror is a door for more massive closet space. It's so functional. You've got like these metal things and then the clothes slip out. Like look at these. These are very functional details that I'm just living for. Oh, yeah. So the built ins are very how, characteristic. Look at how like nicely. Like look at this. So oh. this one opens like this. These open like. But yeah. I just love the panel. Look, it's diagonal in here. These light fixtures. Look at that shower head. Can you show them that shower head? Wow. In each bathroom, this faucet is so interesting. Every bathroom wow. is so, so, so different. Wow, this is another guest yeah, bedroom. Five, five, five rooms. Wow, this, this one's very cozy too. This one's huge, actually. Very bright too. Wow. So then we've got the tiles here, the tiling there. Wow, this is beautiful. But this water just flickering on the roof. Wow. Wait, I haven't seen the view yet. You see the backyard with the pool? It's huge. Yeah, it's gigantic. Sprinklers are going off. Imagine mango, mango and Tiger just running around oh, in the water. In comes the house, out comes the clothes. So we just got back. 
back from house hunting and I just want to say that I couldn't really vlog like the rest of the um what I thought about the last but let's talk about house number a bajillion the Harry Potter house that's oh what I'm going to refer to it as he was so oh tempted he was considering putting in an offer today like he just felt like his heart was throbbing for it it's a house that your brain's saying there's no way you should buy this house <laughs> but there's something in my heart tells me to get this house reminds me of my childhood i remember he said something he's like i used to sleep on a roof and i was yeah. like what and then he was like i could sleep on this house's roof and i yeah. said um maybe not <laughs> there's so many little secret compartment that you can like hide in yeah i can put a Oh, my favorite part is not my favorite part, but my basement. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are <laughs> so there's this little door in the Why basement, are you right? That anyway? I don't know. Okay, I just felt nooks and crannies. Okay, nooks and crannies. Is it actually a door? Yeah, it was a door, but it was really rough to open. So, yeah, so I, was... I, I saw you trying to break apart the door, the wall. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Walter's looking at me like, and I'm like, I'm sorry, can I just, and then he's like, oh, yeah, go ahead, right? And so I try to open this big ass door. It's not no tiny door, right? And I'm expecting on the other side, I honestly thought it was going to be a small little nook or even like some storage or maybe it's like a bookcase. I really don't know what to expect with a house like this, okay? And so I pull it open. I stick my head in and it's unfurnished. Like imagine an attic where it's like the walls are still exposed, but you could totally drywall, add some carpeting, add something to the ground and it was probably bigger than this room it was very low no, it wasn't big enough. is it really yeah no did you stick your head in it was massive i remember it was big enough for a bed i just remember that i remember thinking it was big enough for multiple oh wow yeah i was like oh i this is a nice space to put a little bed in and, and then you know in. he got very window. you know he got very concerned when you said Ooh. that so the realtor's standing oh. right there right and so <laughs> into this place and it's massive and there's a window in there and all you have to do is drywall it and it, but the problem is that it's kind of like a box it's kind of like a nook it's not very like it's not high ceilings you can't even stand up in it you could you could probably not even sit crisscross and like not have to bend your head mm -hmm. it was a very shallow space right and so he we're looking at it and we're us to I'm thinking hey this is perfect to just fill it up with like pillows and li like just mm -hmm. nap room yeah, right so or I was thinking you know when I have kids it'll be perfect like this could be their little secret playroom and we could put a bunch of toys in there because it was in the basement near the game room and so then my fiance goes it's perfect for a bed and then i go how much do you think it'll be to like fix it up to, to like we could actually put a bed in there right uh -huh. and then i was like yeah like when we have kids that'll be so cool and he goes yeah but i don't think it's a habitable room and i was like no 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 it's like a playroom like i think he thought that i was like this is a perfect kids room great oh, so yeah. this is the type of it house was, it was on the hill yeah so you feel like you're secluded from the world yeah this type of house was literally yeah, Harry Potter, but also on top of that, oh not only gosh. was it Harry Potter vibes, but it was this feeling of it's so it's hard for your brain to understand. Yeah, because it's like a maze. We went through the entire there's house. There's no floor plan. There's no floor plan. <laughs> there we, is a floor plan. Yeah, but we don't get it. No, we went through the entire house and we were like, how did we end up here? <laughs> there's so many stairs. Yeah, and and up and down. Nooks and, and crannies. And there's a staircase out, wrap around. Yeah, outside. outside and inside. Like you would go into a room you would look out the window and you'd be like wait how did i get facing this way it's one of those houses like you know when you see in the comments like oh my gosh this is the type of house like where in 10 years you'll open up a door and be like oh we have a room in here it's it felt magical. like a fairy tale yeah. yeah the last place that we went to i will say this location is not prime on this one the brightness the every brightness. the bathroom i love how cool they yeah. made all the bathrooms all the light fixtures too yeah. Oh, Beautiful. The floor, um, what is it? Landing. Yeah, the landing with the built-ins. That one, it felt zen. I feel like I like that more than yeah. the rooms. It yeah. was like a whole ass room and a whole ass mood, and I really liked it. Yeah, I loved the master. I didn't love the bathroom as much. Okay, no. Here's the thing. I, when I say I love things when I'm inside the house, I love it. Okay, I think it's beautiful. But when I come out, I start realizing, okay, I don't think I'll love that every day for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, like. I could like a dude, but do I want to marry him? No. You know, I found you, and I'm like, eh, he's fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't like the dude. But I guess I'll just <laughs> But we'll just get married, you know? <laughs> it's like the bathroom was beautiful. It's objectively beautiful. I can't seem to think of one person who would walk in there and not think that that bathroom is beautiful. Yeah. But it just was so overpowering in terms of color. Like, the bathtub was big, and it was just a very strong, deep color. As we were talking about it, right? I think it's the fact that it's so nice. 
but because they utilize so much wood, yeah. like. Even for me, it's like I feel like the the house itself is so overpowering. I wouldn't be able to really have fun with my furniture and my wall Decoration, art and yeah. decorating because it's like it would just clash too much. I did love the bathroom so much though. Mm -hmm. Like this house, I didn't love the master as much for some reason, but all of the other guest bathrooms, mm -hmm. beautiful. So and it was so fun and each one was so different mm -hmm. and they put in so much thought into the light fixtures, everything was so so well done and the pool was massive I think that was one of the biggest pools that we've seen I loved the waterfall the there was so much greenery the grass would have been perfect for the dogs I think we've seen enough houses I mean we've seen everything online too and I think we're gonna try to work on making a decision and we'll let you guys we'll keep you guys posted on which house we choose one debt to society later Good morning guys I'm back and I didn't think that I was gonna be making this intro because I actually did this round of house hunting a couple days ago and stuff and um, some stuff don't happen since then. A lot has happened since then and originally I thought this was just gonna be like one video, max two videos, but it ended up being like three videos and a different video in between and it just ended up being a couple of days and I just feel like I need to update you guys. We got a house! No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we did not. You we guys are gonna... <laughs> no! So you guys are gonna start seeing seeing us going um, furniture shopping and seeing us kind of prep into moving into a house but I don't want to say for certain I don't want to say a hundred percent without a shadow of doubt that we got a house yes if you guys don't live in the States I don't know how it works in different countries the process of like buying a house so the buyer will put in an offer to the seller and like sellers could get a bajillion offers right and then they finally that's when you like negotiate the price the buyer is like I'm willing to buy it for that price bit and then she's like mm -mm -mm. and then you go mm -mm -mm. And then there's a lot of mm -mm -mm going on and then you guys agree upon a price But that's not the end. There's a lot of contingencies which means hey we agreed on the price So that's like a big step to even like get your offer accepted That means both parties agree upon the price legally But then the next step is like a lot of contingencies which we live in California We gotta make sure it's earthquake proof and you guys built it with good material So we won't die in an earthquake etc inspections etc. So we got a house so we won't be house hunting anymore to get over. Sure. We'll have to wait. Yeah. So you're not telling them what has. No, because okay. I don't know if it's gonna go through. I just want to make sure everything's in the clear. Everything's good. You guys know me. I get so emotionally attached to things that right now I'm like in such a weird spot where I'm like about to go balls in into excitement, and then I'm like, no, 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 Stephanie, you gotta wait a minute. If everything goes well, we move in like a month. I am. I'm a stone cold killer right now. I feel nothing. I don't feel excitement. <laughs> Honestly, I'm chilling. It's whatever. <laughs> we got a house! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your input because surprisingly, we took a lot of your input to heart. It's house number five. <laughs> what? What's house number five? I think that we're eventually gonna start furniture shopping within the next week or so. Actually start planning and packing and stuff because it's happening in a month, but I'm not getting excited yet. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which house you think it is, but also make sure to check out Simple Health, link in the description, and I'm gonna go and not be excited somewhere else. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.